Hi! Uh, so today I went grocery shopping and I thought I might as well share what I bought. Um, yeah, this is different. Normally do videos showing different things on or around UCSB. But a lot of people uh, know me to be pretty healthy and they're just curious what I eat so I thought I might as well just share uh, the groceries I bought today. Uh, generally I like to eat the same foods over and over but today I bought some some different items I wouldn't normally so I'll show you them. I really only started cooking a lot of my own foods within the last month because I see on campus but now I'm trying to reduce costs and at the same time eat healthily. So let's start off with what I bought today. I'll, I'll start with my staples which is pretty much everything I bought. Uh, so one of the things I eat all the time is eggs. Um, I just like to eat like scrambled eggs or sunny side up eggs with avocados. I eat that a lot for breakfast. And oh, I also eat chicken all the time. I didn't buy it today because I buy it in bulk. But I eat chicken at breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I also eat it as a snack. I eat, actually, I probably eat like every two hours. That's what's a little different about my diet. I just eat throughout the day. And, oh, I also choose foods that I find to be filling. So... Like when I buy vegetables, I try to choose vegetables that are very high in nutritional value and or are very filling. So I bought squash today. Several kinds. This butternut. Um, I think these taste really good and they're also really filling. So I buy squash a lot. This one, I, I've i never made this spaghetti squash. Some people eat it as a substitute to pasta. So, But I just, I just make foods really simply. I wouldn't bother cutting it into sp a spaghetti shape. I just will bake it in the oven, something really simple. Because I don't like to spend a lot of time making food. And then this one, um, kabocha, it's usually green, but they had it this pumpkin color today. So Those squash, they're so filling, so I, I like to eat those a lot too. And then the other, like one of my favorite foods to eat and love is the yam. And I also, I don't do anything to these other than clean them, and then I put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour and I'll eat that sometimes for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And oh uh, recently, only a couple days ago, I started eating uh, lentils. Well, I've eaten them before but I never made them but it's so easy. I, this is about two and a half pounds of lentils and then I bought this ginger to go with it to make dal um, or the the Indian preparation for lentils I think it's called dal <laughs> not sure but uh, I just made it last weekend I made a big pot of it it lasted exactly the whole week so I plan to make that often too and it's also really filling. Oh the other thing I do with ginger is I make tea out of it. I just boil water and then I put some slices of the ginger in it 
with honey and it helps fight inflammation which I've had before from uh, running so I just being precautious uh, another staple I I always have is uh, apples I just I really love these little apples I think these are Actually, I'm not sure if they're Gala or Pink Lady, but I like those two types. And there's really three ways I like to eat apples. Uh, either just like this, just plain um, whole apples, or um, I'll toss them in the salad. I usually make kale salad. They taste really good with kale. Actually, they also taste really good with chicken, I think. <laughs> you know, like when you put applesauce on chicken. I used to do that anyway. Wait, no, that's applesauce with pork chop. Well, it's a, <laughs> it's a similar concept. And the other way I like to eat apples is with, like, peanut butter or almond butter. I just, I bought, I haven't tried this particular almond butter, but... I bought it today, it was on sale. I, if there's any kind of staple on sale, I usually buy it. Okay, sorry, I had to restart filming because my phone uh, actually ran out of space. I have that many videos all on there that I still need to upload. So I was gonna show you this other staple I always have for making pretty much salad dressing. I always make kale salad every week. Uh, this is extra virgin olive oil. I picked this particular one because it was on sale. <laughs> uh, this is Spectrum. I don't have a particular favorite. I still need to. I still need to try other ones. Um, extra virgin is considered the highest grade of olive oil. It's higher in antioxidants than the other types, and um, from what I understand, it's better to choose one that is green in color, which is why they tint the bottles. <laughs> but if if you can tell that the actual oil is green, that's supposed to be a good sign. So I'll have, to, I'll have to try this one and I'll see how it is. Uh, this I did not purchase today, but I feel it's worth sharing. Uh, this is my current favorite type of coconut oil. This is from Dr. Bronner's. I just really like pretty much all of his products. I also use uh, his peppermint soap the liquid version, and also the peppermint lip balm. I really like peppermint. <laughs> and this one, I, li I like this coconut oil because it has a really good aroma and has a stronger coconut flavor than some of the other brands I try, like Spectrum. And this, I just think is such a practical thing to have because this one product, coconut oil, serves so many purposes. It can be used as a lip balm. It can be used uh, to moisturize your body. Um, girls, they they put it in their hair to make it shine. I don't I don't do that, but you can. Um, you can also use it to massage people or yourself. But this one. I have two or three of these. This one stays in the kitchen because I use this to cook eggs. <laughs> um, that's mainly why I use it because, you know, a lot of people use butter. But I'd rather just, since this serves so many purposes, I can use it for other foods. I just stick with coconut oil. I like, I like the coconut flavor. I like how it tastes. So, yeah, coconut oil. I recommend it. Um, so I showed you the olive oil. I used this to make the dressing for kale salad. 
The other ingredient I use for kale salad dressing is lemon. I use one lemon per bunch of kale. And sometimes I just also, you know, I put this in water and I drink that. Um, let me know if you want to see my kale salad recipe. I can make a video of me making kale salad if that interests anyone. A lot of people, they ask me how you eat kale. And I used to cook kale. I used to like saute it. And actually cooking kale is supposed to release more... Um, nutrients but I actually prefer the taste of it raw in a salad I just I actually really do like how it tastes so let me know if you want to see that I'd be happy to make that video so yeah those are all the staples I bought today I bought two products that are not staples the first one are these crackers these are multi-grain flax crackers. The box is a little ripped because this fell out of my bag when I was riding my bicycle back to my apartment from the store. But the crackers are still intact. Uh, this I have because somebody gave me some goat cheese. Um, how do you pronounce it? It's like chevre, 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 one of those. But I thought it would go well with crackers. So that's why I have crackers. I don't normally eat them. Because like I, I've said, I try to eat foods that are not processed and that contain high nutritional value. I just, from my experience, I can eat a ton of crackers and still be hungry. So that's why I don't, I don't normally buy them. I'd rather eat the apple with peanut butter. <laughs> So the, the last uh, bunch of items I bought, a bunch, 10 of them, are these chocolate bars. I actually wanted some chocolate for a long time because I was researching mood enhancing foods and chocolate, as you probably know, is one of them. It releases a lot of endorphins. So from my experience, I think that chocolate does help me get into a better mood. I'm generally a happy person. It's not, it's not that chocolate makes me happier, but it has this, mm, I don't know, this like pleasing effect on my body, I guess. I'm not sure how to explain it, but this time now I have 10 bars, so I'm really actively going to observe how it affects, how it affects me. Yeah, so that should be fun. Um, the, yeah, that concludes this haul, all the groceries that I bought. Um, I hope that this was informational or at least entertaining. <laughs> yeah, actually this, you know, this is the first video I'm actually in for a, a considerable duration. So, yeah, tell me, uh, do you want to see the kale salad video or... Do you want to see how I meal prep? I, that means like I, I make a, I cook a lot of food all at once and it usually lasts the whole week just because, you know, that conserves a lot of time. I'd, I'd rather not have to cook every day. I'd rather, you know, <laughs> I'd rather go out or, you know, do any of the other activities I like. Um, let me know. If you want to see any other other foods I make, um, do you like this style of video, this this uh, video blog vlog, as opposed to me writing out a post, which is what I normally do? Um, give me any suggestions. And yeah, like I said, next time I'll film during the day because I know this is kind of dim. So I hope that you like this video. <laughs> if you did, please give it a thumbs up and. Hopefully, I'll, I'll see you again soon.